as you can see that the value of k1 is nothing but the risk coefficient or probability factor for all general buildings and structures with a wind velocity of 55 meter per second it is 1 various values are given in table 2 right so what we should look into is basically how do we find determine what is the value of k1 for the case of Chennai right uh, as you can see in this part of the paper yes here right here uh, all general buildings and structures uh, with 50 years of lifetime B being temporarily shed structures buildings and structures presenting a low degree of hazard to life and property in the event of failure important buildings and has such as hospitals and communication towns. this in this case we are interested in residential uh, cases so as you can see that uh, for Chennai K equal to 1 for class A so uh, our we need to know what is our basic wind speed before we proceed so how do we determine your basic wind speed as you can see from this graph I hope you guys can take a look at this paper download it and read it but uh, according to this graph the region 5 with a base speed of uh, 50 kilometers per hour times uh, the color code so as you can see the Chennai's uh, color code is mentioned over here this is Madras which is nothing but Chennai and it comes under region 5 so according to this if it is class 5 it's got to be it's got to be this it's got to be this so uh, you can see the class 5 k1 is equal to 1 and hence back to our values over here k1 is 1 now what is this constant k2 right we need to find what is this constant k2 and in that case this is the tabular column in our case it's k2 is we are designing it at around 10 meters of height our building structure is placed at 10 meters of height let me get the zoom correct uh, so which means that if it is terrain 4 or terrain 3 terrain 1 what does this terrain talk about right these terrains there is another base paper which talks about how to decide what is the type of terrain so basically if there is a terrain class 1, 2, 3, 4 it is right here in this uh, uh, secondary journal that I mentioned here in the base uh, uh, in the references part you can see very clearly that there are different types of terrain categories for different kinds of height and uh, uh, how do you find the terrain category so these are the terrain categories as you can see uh, if for example if you have a land which is vacant or a plot of land then it is probably uh, terrain category 1 and an open land with very few trees then terrain category 2 and open land with large number of trees with few buildings is terrain category 3 and terrain category 4 is basically a terrain with numerous large highly closed space construction now you can see that I have wrote it wrote some examples over here uh, Chennai is such a state because it's heavily uh, crowded by nearby buildings so we have to go with terrain category 4 which means that when you go back to the page where uh, uh, we were trying to find what is the terrain category right here okay here I am so terrain category 4 for 10 meters it is around 0.8 so back to our formula I have decided it is 0 0.82 0 0.8 is the value so we are left with what is the value of k3 and k4 and finally the vb value which we already know but k3 and k4 what do they mean well, K3 talks about uh, the topography factor. Its value is taken as unity if the slope of the ground is less than 3 degrees. So, 
basically our slope is a flat roof we have tested it we don't have we hardly have around 1 to 1.2 degree slope in our uh, on the ground level so uh, basically this is taken as one and uh, the basic uh, wind speed zone in this uh, paper it is six but we are interested in basically in zone number five which is 50 for as per Chennai or Madras according to this graph uh, so here we are with all the values of k1 k2 k3 k4 and uh, the base speed and we found that the velocity of the wind that we should look into consideration is 53.3 meter per second or in other words the worst case is around 190 kilometers which is greater than Varda which is around 150 kilometers per hour we just discussed that over there so we are looking at the pressure of the wind to be around 0 0.6 times uh, the velocity square when you substitute the value of v and i in this uh, velocity place and you will find that the pressure of the wind is around 1705 newton per meter square now this is the pressure of the wind right we need to find what is this wind its impact on the, our structure so over to the next slide over here the final slide uh, we see that the force of the wind is nothing but the pressure of the wind times the area times the sine of the alpha degree now i have arranged this structure in this way the panels in this way we have uh, around 15 lg mono x series panels which is 22222 two, 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 uh, which means that each panel is around 2 meters in uh, length and 1 meter in width so we have three rows five columns so that is 10 by 3 meters and hence 30 square meter sine 13 we found that the force of the wind is 11253 newtons and now that we know the wind force what does this what is the effect of this wind in turning those panels is nothing but the force wind times the h now when it comes to this point of h you can refer back to the research paper and you can find that for alpha being around 12 the value of h is around 0.654 for various types of zones and there is another research paper which talks about these zones how do you prevent find which zone do you belong to these are the examples so basically we have uh, uh, we are in this zone and that's why that's the reason i took 0 0.654 as uh, the value of h uh, I remember i i said that i would discuss about this h basically it is around 0.654 and you can also find in reality that for alpha equal to 13 degrees i'm able to get an effect of our h around 0 0.6 right that is 2.6 meters minus 2 meters so practically speaking this is the uh, thing and based on the research paper i got 0 0.654 which is almost 6 0 0.6 right so the overturning effect now the energy newton meter 7359 newton meters of this thing when i divide this by x what is this x is basically the distance between the small leg and the large leg so we have around 2.6 meters of distance separating it how do you know that well basically you can refer to this part and we have also measured this uh, on site this was the distance we maintained in between the structures one might ask me yeah i don't think it's 2.6 it should be around 3 meters so why is it 2.6 it's basically because of the slope we get it around 2 meters sorry 2.6 meters and hence finally i have determined the reactive force of this structure uh, on this structure to be around 2900 newtons now my only question is will my, will the structure be able to maintain this kind of 2900 newton of force uh, exerted due to a wind speed of around 190 kilometers per hour on the structure for the area a dash b dash which is exposed to the wind and not make this panel fly away is the entire weight of this uh, structure that we have 
along with the panels and the civil work that we have done uh, the structure weighs around 100 kilograms per kilowatt it's a 5 kilowatt plant so we have around 550 kgs of structure uh, 21 kilogram per panel it's the weight mentioned in the data sheet i have attached that also you know, one can also google it and find, figure it out for themselves it's lg mono x series 330 watt uh, 340 watt peak panels so 21 times 15 and 50 kilograms per cube and i have 12 cubes so here so the total weight times the gravitational accent gives me a weight of around 1270 newtons so now you can see that the structure i i I've, i've actually given it like a 45 degree slope but it's basically a 13 degree slope that i'm trying to make it more clear so 